Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem with the DVD drive not showing up with your computer. Now, if you go to Device Manager, um, it, on my computer it's not there either. On my just restarted it, so it's taking a long time. And show you it's not working. At all, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually fix it with fix it without the reg registry editor and without the, the device manager. You have to turn off it was um three ways I know well I know you probably did one of them. It's part of the first one is turn off your computer is the obvious way, um, that doesn't work if probably you wouldn't, um, to, um, turn it off and then take out the battery, that's what worked for me one time, but it, it, didn't, it didn't work as much, and I'm going to show you the third way after the device manager loads up and I can show you, so, I think I'm going to pause it. As you can see, um, the, my DVD drive says it's there on device manager, yours may not. Um, this is actually the first time it ever says it's there when it's not on computer. Let me see. Um, so. So if yours don't come up there, it's this is a fix for it if your, yours doesn't come up there either. This is actually the first time, and I already I tried updating it and scanning it. it. Doesn't work. The other way is to go to Legacy Editor, which I'll show you, and delete upper and lower fil filters. As you can see, it's on DVD and CD, and there's no upper and lower filters. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually fix it, if those two do not work at all. Um, basically, this is a hardware problem with your computer. So what you have to do is turn it off. And let it do that. And make sure you eject your DVD drive while it's loading. And take out any CD that you have. There you go. Um, once this is injected, unplug any cords. And make sure you have one of those um, um, small screwdrivers. Um, I guess any size will really do. Just make sure it's small enough or big enough. And on the back of this, you should see your, um, you should see like a, a metal plate. It's actually magnetic with mine. So, and you should see four or five screws depending on how many, what your kind is. Mine has four. One, two, three, four. So, uns unscrew all of those, and I'm going to come back when I do. And here are the four screws that I just took out. And once you took all of them out that you see, it should be able to come off easily like this. It is a back metal cover, basically, for the um, DVD drive. And you should see all the contents inside now. So once you're at this part where you see something similar to this, all you really need is this, basically, that's it. Um, then this one is basically for the light and the eject button, so you don't really need that one as much, but you can do that one as well. What you need to do is find the side of this right plug in and find the side that has the black not this side this one has black because that's the ribbon see if you take the ribbon 
Like so. Um, and this one doesn't have black either on this side, so you know it's this side. Um, so on this side, you just pull these um, black holders, I'll call them, out to disconnect the weapon, which is this, and then you can easily take this out. For this one, you really don't need to, but I like to do it, just in case there's something wrong. And I, if, for this one, it is taped, so I'm not going to, to um, plug, um, take it out. I really don't need to, because there's nothing wrong with that. So once it's done, taken out for a few seconds, you can plug it back in, make sure it's in all the way, so it doesn't mess up, well, so it doesn't, you know, work. And if it's in all the way, let me just get this in real quick because I'll uh, make yeah make sure this is in all the way though because you're gonna have to do this whole thing again once you know figure out it's probably not in. Let me tilt this down and do it from here. Right there, and you just pull this thing down. Um, don't be afraid to give pressure to it. And make sure it's at a good angle because and make sure this us doesn't come out and then you can just do the same for that. Once you've done that, it's bas it basically um this is not guaranteed but it worked it worked every single time I did it. My DVD drive worked all the time af after this. Even the first time I did this it worked. So and I found this all by my own, so this is like probably maybe a website, but I don't know. I didn't look on the website. All right now, I'm gonna put in um, all the screws back in, and I'm gonna come back when I do. Um, so yeah, just so put in all the screws after that, and I'll come back to show you what's next. Hello guys, I'm back, and just getting this last screw in. I think it's in already. Right. There we go. So once it's, once it's in, uh, make sure no bent parts are in because the first time I did it, it got bent right here and it didn't work, but now it works fine. I mean, you just have to make sure it's not bent. Cause, yeah. So now um, you can plug it back in and I didn't do this, but you can take out your battery doing it. I just forgot, I guess. <laughs> right now. I'm going to put my computer back on and show you guys. Let me plug in my um, HDMI cord. Now pretty much if you did everything I just did, you can end it right now. It's not going to come up until... I don't know why it does that, but it's not going to come up until it started Windows. So, um, um, be sure to remember I'm not responsible for any damage done, but you really shouldn't have to do any damage. Um, the life you can take this to a professional, but here you go, you can see me. <laughs> And welcome, thank you. Um, now there's two ways to test it basically. If you want to know automatically if it works or not, just put a CD in and make sure you hear for the CD or the DVD to work. Um, if it may or may not need to update driver software, I think I need to. I'm not sure anymore. Uh, let's, I don't know, it's still loading. Let's come back on here. And let's see if it works. Um, okay. So... 
complex. Um, the, and the other way is basically just go on your computer and see if the DVD, you know, icon is there. Um, you may need to restart it too, again. You may. So if it doesn't work the first time, don't do it all over again. Just restart it because I did have a few problems, but I need, I need, I just needed to restart it. And it came back on. So let's, let's go to the computer way. And you see it's not there still? I don't know if I need to update it though, so. Bear with me. And go device manager. If it does not work, I'm going to restart it, but I'm going to pause the video. So it doesn't take forever. Yeah, a long time to waste my memory. So there it is. Still. And let's hit the, which one should we hit? Should we update it? Let's see if we can find an update. Just in case. Actually, if you do see it on there, you probably should un uninstall it first. So it's, so it, think, it doesn't think about it basically, it doesn't show it. But it might, who's this? Okay. Um, just make sure it is. The last time I did this, it said it's found, so I don't think I need to do this. Um, oh wait, I don't need to search. Oh my gosh, it's frozen now. So, if you do see DVD drive, on the device manager, but not on the computer in your Windows Explorer. Um, just um, just uninstall it from device manager. Then um, restart your computer. So that's what I'm gonna do if it loads any time now. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. So uh, I'm gonna do is just uninstall it. Right click and install. Okay. Um, you can easily reinstall it by clicking the stand for hardware changes, changes from right here. It's going to basically look for it. And there we go, it says hey, down there somewhere, it's installing and it just did it. So once you do that, oh you might see it right there. My DVD drive right there on the side. And there it is my movie name um so basically if you see it there still if you see so let me just run this down again in computer if you still don't see it after um doing the plugs and stuff inside the dvd drive if you still don't see it then go to device manager which i'll show you again by just typing it in or something. And if you see DVD drive right here, then uninstall it. If you don't, it should actually be on your computer right now. If it, if, but if you don't see DVD drive over here and it's not on your computer, just restart it and see if it, it's there now. If it doesn't work for that, um, it might be a problem with your ribbon and connecting it, but I don't know. I mean, try it then if you got, guess you want. Um, but you might have heard my um, actual DVD drive. Um, actually, you might have heard it. So I am going to show you the light and everything else coming on down here. So, hold on. Let me just make sure you guys can see that. Because I can't see what you're looking at. And... And now I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear the drive. And there you go. You see it coming up. And 
So, if you did what I did, so if you did what all the other videos did, which was regular sheet editor and uh, device manager, and it didn't work then, just follow my way. My way worked. I had a huge problem with this. I had no idea what, what, what why it wouldn't work at all. And I just, you no, know, let, let me just do this. It wasn't working anyway, so if I mess it up, it's it doesn't matter and all of a sudden it worked so i was kind of surprised myself that i actually just did it myself without looking at any websites um yeah this might be out of the website i actually might put it on the website um but um so if it works please um comment and like if you want to well comment i guess because i like to see if people have problems or anything um, if this works for you, please like and comment. Again, um, there's nothing else with my computer as well, except this mid cafe thing. But, whatever. It worked now. And one more thing, it, the, the eject button wouldn't work. Now obviously, if you try to eject it, it wouldn't work. If I show you now. And there you go, it ejects. So, thanks to you for guys for watching please like if it worked and please comment if if it doesn't or if it does thanks for watching